plan friends, welcome to my grow light filled apartment. Bloom and grow, YouTube show. Okay plan friends, winter is coming and if you look out my window, winter is here. We've had like a really yucky fall day outside. So as winter approaches, our days are getting shorter. A lot of people are looking to bring some grow lights home to help their plant babies stay happy and healthy through the dark season. And if you're someone like me and you went from zero to 60 plants really fast, or you just have this growing plant collection and the square footage in your apartment is in growing like your plant collection is, you're gonna realize that you're gonna need to bring some plants home to continue making some well-lit spaces that you could put plants in, even if your entire apartment doesn't have great light like mine. So first off, before I show you the five grow lights that I have in my apartment that I've had for years, I wanna talk to you about understanding your natural indoor light first. So if you are interested in getting like down and dirty about this, episodes 46 and 47 of the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast, which are linked below, are going to give you a really in-depth understanding on the science of light and how we can measure our personal environment and our personal indoor light. But I can tell you because I did the pod, I listened to the podcast, I did the interview. I have southern facing windows and they are gorgeous. They are unobstructed. I get amazing light. However, I only have windows on one side of my apartment. So that means that the only highlight area of my apartment is pretty much here. So as you can see, I got a lot of plants in this little area. Then as I keep walking back, the quality of light gets lower and lower until my kitchen, which is pretty much relatively zero light. Nothing could grow there without a grow light. So that's where grow lights have come in for our space to help me have plants all over the place and not just really close to my southern facing windows. So I want to show you them all and I think we should start off with the plantiest, most bright part of my apartment, our living room corner. Okay, so one more thing before I break down this setup for you. So we have a couple of filters that we measure every grow light against when we're thinking of bringing a grow light home. So number one, if you're interested in learning about the science about how these grow lights work, the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast has amazing resources for you. So episodes 12 and episode 74 are all on the science of grow lights. I have Chris Satch and Leslie Halleck both on the show. They break down the science of light and how the light outdoors is then replicated in these grow lights. It's mind blowing and they really break it down for people like me who the last time I talked about photosynthesis was in science class when I was 12. Um, anyway, so the two things that we look for with grow lights is that they are full spectrum white lights. Those are gonna set your plants up for the most success. So it should be putting, the grow light you bring home should be putting off a nice white light. So these lights, the Soltech lights, say that they're museum quality light. And also timers. So I have five grow lights in this apartment. Me and Billy both work. I travel for work all the time. I'm not thinking about turning these grow lights on and off. So everything in the apartment is set to a timer. We do 12 hours on, 12 hours off. We just install the light and then we really don't think about it anymore. And if you've listened to the podcast, you've heard that I talk about these lights specifically. These lights go off at about 10 o'clock every night. And when they go off, they do this, they make this little like click sound. And I say, good night, lemony, good night, limey, because this is the citrus corner. This is the citrus grove you might've heard about on the podcast. So these are the timers that Soltech includes with their lights. So you plug the timer into your actual outlet and then you plug the light into the timer. And then as you can see, this has the whole 24 hour cycle. You set the time to whatever time it is now. And then the hours that you want lit, you push these little tabs down and the hours that you want dark, you pull them up and then that's it. Everything's set. So, welcome. It's probably the plantiest corner of my apartment. It started off with one Soltec solution light and now has two because my citrus have been struggling a little bit. They got spider mites and they've just been on the struggle bus. So I've added, and I've since added a lot of plants around the citrus plants. So we have two Soltec 40 watt lights hanging. Um, a couple things about the Soltec lights that I like and full disclosure, both Soltec and Modern Sprout are podcast sponsors 
of the show because I'm obsessed with their lights. I've been using them long before they were sponsors and I love them. So the installation with the Soltech lights is super easy. They send everything you need in the box. It's literally just putting a screw in the ceiling up there and hanging that hook and then hanging the lights however you want on them. As you can see, I like the kind of bohemian look, so I actually macrameed my black cords. I thought it would look really cool against our white walls. I thought it was a really nice way to kind of soften the black lines, even though we just want all of our lights to be black for, co for a cohesive look. So as you can see, I have the plants that need the highest amount of light right up against the light. So that's my citrus trees. So that's lemony. No, that's lemony in the back and that's limey up front with the flamingo. Then as you move farther and farther away from the actual light bulb, I chose to put plants that need less light to thrive. So you'll see a rose geranium and then on the bottom you'll see my monstera that is absolutely thriving and some snake plants on the ground. So that way I'm able to absolutely make use of the kind of cascading triangle of light, the sphere of light that these babies emit. Okay, so this is the second Soltech Solutions corner in my apartment. This, we are now in my bedroom. Um, once again, the plant collection kept growing and one day Billy brought home Figaro, our fiddly fig tree. And when Billy brought him home, he was a tiny little cutting and all of our highlight space. So if you know, listen to the Bloom and Grow radio podcast on fiddly fig trees, but they need a lot of light. And all of our highlight areas of the apartment were taken. So I knew that it was time to get another Soltech light in some corner of our apartment to make sure that Figaro would be happy because there's no way I wasn't gonna keep my little Figaro man as happy as possible. So I have to say he has grown so much since we put him under this light. And I use the same idea as before. I have him the closest to the grow light. So he lives in the back. These are great, by the way. This is just a tiered um, plant stand from Ikea and I'll throw the link below in case you guys want to get them because I have the stand in both corners. So both corners of my apartment has the same Ikea stand and the same Soltech light. So I have my highlight fiddly fig on top. Then I have my prized monsteras, which are growing like so insanely. They have so many aerial roots as you can see. Then I have a snake plant on the bottom and my very hardy Dracaena that just, he, I inherited this Dracaena from a friend. He's actually grown a lot, um, but he's also been very patient with me. He was one of the first plants I got and I've just learned a lot on this guy. So thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friends. And then we've got a lot of Southern facing windows with all of my other highlight plants. All over. Okay, so this is my planty bookshelf oasis and it is probably my like crowning DIY achievement as a plant lady because before this I wasn't very much into DIY stuff and now I am so proud and love it. So it's the Modern Sprout Grow Bar, which is this thing right here and it's basically an LED light panel that comes with the easiest installation instructions and you can pretty much pop it anywhere. So you could put it like I did in a bookshelf or under um, your kitchen cabinets if you want to like grow herbs in your kitchen or you can pretty much be creative and do whatever you want with it. So I have a one minute time lapse of my installation. It's super easy. The only like fancy thing we had to do is I had Billy drill a hole up in that corner um, that we fed the cord through and the cord is just fed through there and then plugged into the outlet over there um, and the grow bar literally has like velcro strips that it comes with that you just pop it on there so a few things that I learned through trial and error with this puppy is because this bookshelf is so tall the rules with any other grow lights is you got to put your highlight plants close to the light. And as you get farther and farther away from the light, look at my engagement ring sparkle in that. That's fun. Um, as you get higher, as you get farther and farther away from the grow light, the plants that you put there need to be lower and lower light plants. So as you can see, I put my pep, um, my Pilea peperomioides at the bottom. These plants used to be short and bushy and they were way too far away from the grow light. So what I've learned is I've since had to prop up higher light plants. So as you see, I just have like a terracotta pot flipped over. I have my cute little orchid. So this is my first experiment in semi-hydro. You can go check out that YouTube video, but 
These Cocoa Puffs are like a balls. It's so fun. There's a podcast episode on that as well. So I just have the flipped over terracotta pot. I put this there just to give that plant an extra boost to really be able to soak up those rays. So another cute thing, the cute product that I found. So these Pileas are already stretched as you can see. So I found these really cute gold, they're like bronze plant spikes. And what I did is I propped up the leaves that are actually going to be doing the photosynthesis to make the food. I prop them up with the plant spikes to get them closer to the light. Um, as I get new Pileas, I would definitely put them on top of something or just like put it in a bookshelf that has like a little bit shorter of a thing. I think they're going to release a new line of their grow bar. That's actually going to be twice as strong as the one that I currently have installed. So I'm really excited to try it out in 2020 and their new line of grow frames, which you'll see in the next room is also twice as strong as their old line that I have. Um, Another fun thing. So these are my three Pileas. I've shared Pilea babies that I love. Um, I've gotten them from friends. One of these is from apartment botanist, Alessia. Another one is from my friends at Peep. Um, this, another fun way that I've propped stuff up is, so I have this epic jade plant that I got from my friend, Julia. Um, I've since shared tons of cuttings of it. It's grown so beautifully down the pot. And if you can see in the pot, I've got this cute little plant that Summer Rain Oaks gave me um, over a year ago and another propagating little succulent. So I've used the height of the pot to actually have little plant friends in real life. How cute is that? <laughs> And of course, if you've noticed the Keep Blooming print that's exclusive to Bloom and Grow Radio listeners um, is in the back. I don't know if you can catch a glimpse of it, but it's a free download you can get online for joining my mailing list. Okay, let's go check out my kitchen. Okay, so this is the lowest light area of my entire apartment. We are far from my southern facing windows. So because of that, I needed some sort of light structure, but I wanted something that was pretty. I needed something smaller. Obviously a Soltec light wouldn't have worked. We have no light bulb. We don't even have the ability to have a light bulb up there. So I figured I started searching online and I found Modern Sprout makes this gorgeous brushed bronze grow house. This part's open and the rest of it is covered in glass. So it's almost like a mini terrarium. And I just think it looks really beautiful. I made this pineapple wallpaper, another one of my DIY wins. So when I was moving in quick story, when I was moving in with Philly, I wanted to like do something, I don't know, like DIY, like homemaker E and we love pineapples. And I found this pineapple wrapping paper at a like paper store. And I thought it would be so cute in our apartment because we knew we wanted to, um, paint the walls yellow. And so I actually like lined up the print and then I went and got it laminated and I turned it into my own wallpaper. So fun fact, you could do that too. If I could do it, you could definitely do it. Um, but I love that the bronze of the grow house actually matches the bronze in the pineapple. So it's just like a little, this is just like a little corner of joy in our apartment, which would have otherwise just been low light and probably would have gotten like no attention. Um, I love the plants that I have in this section as well. A lot of them are cuttings from friends or plants that have been gifted to me. Um, once again, because the light is so high up, I actually have a little thing, a little, um, white planter that I've propped several plants up. Um, I have cuttings from plant friends in New York. I have an African violet that we finally just got it. I, I just cut the blooms off cause the bloom cycle just ended. Um, other cuttings from friends, a geranium from my mom that is consistently blooming. You can see it's little red flowers and my Sansevieria moonshine that I just got from plants by post. Um, and then this epic, my cans, a listener, oops, a listener came to my Tucson event and she gave me this my cans and maybe it was this big and I took it on 10 planes. It took me 10 planes touring on cats to finally get home. Anyway, since I put it in this corner, it's growing like gangbusters. So it's clearly very happy here. Um, yeah, the grow frame is also just on the 12 hours on 12 hours off setting. And it's just like a super easy, low maintenance area of the apartment. So modern sprout still sells the grow frame. They still sell the grow bar, but they just launched this new line of grow lights, which I'm obsessed with. I can't wait to come home from tour. Cause we're going to install them in our apartment. Um, they're called grow frames and they look like they look like frames. So it's a frame that you can mount onto the wall and put plants in. And the lights that they have are actually two times as strong. So they've like 
up to their grow light game, even though these grow lights are so amazing as well. So all of the links to all of these grow lights that I've showed you are in the show notes. And since they are Bloom and Grow partners, we have amazing coupon codes for you guys. I think these grow lights would make an amazing gift for people. But also if you're a plant person, maybe you want to ask for one of these grow lights for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you end up celebrating. So links are below. I hope you go forth and illuminate your lives as you see fit, my plant friends. And definitely listen to all the podcasts suggested below if you want to get a little nerdy about light. Because I think we all should really understand our personal lighting environments in order to set up our plants for the greatest, longest, epic success. Okay, until next time, as written on my Plant Friends Apparel Bloom and Grow merch shirt, keep blooming and keep growing. Dum, dum, doo, 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 doo.